I just tested the simplest RSI strategy on the internet and the results are mind blowing. In this video, I'm going to show you the big test that I did, how the strategy works and most importantly, how the strategy performs using three different risk to reward ratios. But before we get started, I want you to check out the description of this video. There you are going to find a free course that is going to teach you how to make up to $2,000 in profit. Now, before we get started, I want to talk about some of the biggest mistakes that most people make when they are big tests their strategy and one of the biggest mistakes is back testing this strategy every time that you see a setup well you see the mistake with that is when you back test a strategy and then you say after 200 big after 200 tests i've made this amount of profits you're not putting to mind all those setups that comes when you are not looking into the market so most of the people are just going to jump into the market and then they start testing the strategy but at the end of the day you are taking some of the trades that might be play, playing out maybe at the midnight when you are asleep and you are, not, you are never going to get into those trades so the best thing that you can do is you can just test your strategy basically on the period of time that you think you can be able to get the trades if you were to get the trades so that when you come up with the results though those, those results are a little bit more accurate than just taking all the trades that you can which brings us to the mistake number two of using the wrong tools for backtesting. The best tool that you can use first of all is an indicator called the time session that is found on TradingView. Now, if you want to backtest your strategy with other software that softwares that are free, it's up to you. But for me, I think if you really want to know exactly how your strategy performs, you are going to need one paid software, which is TradingView. Now, with trading view, you can just analyze the market for free. But most importantly, if you want to backtest your strategy, you need this feature called Replay 2. This Replay 2 is a feature that allows you to replay how the market would play out if you were trading at that exactly same time. So what you do is you just choose where you want to start from. And then when you do that, you are going to be able to replay these charts. And then you see your setup uh, playing out in real time to you at least so on trading view the first thing that you are going to need of course is that replay button number two is an indicator called sessions this is an indicator that filter out only the time session that you want to be trading for example this strategy that i'm going to show you today i tested this strategy only on the london session why the london session because from where i am the london session is the point where which starts in the morning to me and then it ends or towards the end of the day which means i can watch these trades and i can place these trades in real time if i am to place using this strategy so when i put these indicators on my charts it's going to give me all the time sessions but the first thing that i do is filter out and also make sure that i only have the london session so all the trades that i'm going to play that i'm going to test and place are going to be only in the london session now, the next mistake that you might be making is not caring about the risk to reward ratio. You see, most of the people are going to tell you that if you want to make money, you just need a huge risk to reward ratio. But that's not actually the case. Sometimes the way that your strategy is created might need you to use smaller risk to reward ratios and what i mean by this is for example let's say you are using the bollinger band strategy now for the bollinger band strategy we know that the bollinger bands are not going to be far away from each other so if your strategy involves buying at the top of a bollinger bands and then selling at the middle of the bollinger band that means the distance between the top of the bollinger bands and the middle bollinger band is not going to be too far so if you use like four to one five to one risk to reward ratio you are always going to fail because you are going to be using uh, a wrong strategy with the wrong risk to reward ratio and i'm gonna prove it to you using the strategy that i'm about to show you today now here is how the strategy actually works so the first thing is add the rsi to your charts you add the rsi by going to indicators and then you you you, you search for rsi relative strength index and you click on the relative strength index and the relative strength index is going to be added to your charts now to make sure that the R your rsi looks like mine the first thing that you might go you want to do is go to the settings and go to style once you go to style just make sure you click all the other buttons and then you you uncheck all the other buttons and leave the RSI button right here and the other thing that you want to go is what that you want to do is 
you go to the RSI upper band, then set up 55 as your upper band. Then the lower band set it up to 45. The middle band doesn't matter. You might leave it like that and you don't even need it, right? So 45 and 55. Now, we have the RSI which looks like this. Now, the strategy is, is all about entering the market when the market is building momentum. So what do you do? First, you want to make sure that your time session indicator is already on the charts. In my case, because I want to test only on the on the London session. But if you don't want to do that, it's up to you. Now, the, 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 for the buy and sell trades, here is what you do. Let's say the market is in the session that you are in. And then you see this RSI line going above or being between the 45 and 50 and for the 45 and 55 and when the market breaks lower and breaks below the 45 zone this is your perfect zone to sell and if the market breaks above the 50 line the 55 line this is the perfect point to buy now here's the difference with the traditional rsi strategy that you know the traditional rsi strategy that you know tells you to buy if the market goes below 30 and then rises above 30 you buy but in this case we want to make sure that we follow the, when the market gets the momentum to go below 30 so what do we do we sell as soon as the market goes below level 45 so in this case i'm gonna show you using this replay tool that i talked about now you can you so you want to make sure that when the market breaks below the level 45 you sell so look at this you can see right now the rsi zone the rsi line have broke below the level 45 and in this case also it broke below the level 45 now once this happens the next step is to sell so we are going to bring up our sell so our sell too so we sell here now for the risk to reward ratio, I'm going to test this strategy using the 0 0.5 to 1, which means the profit is smaller than the stop loss. And then I will test this using the 1 to 1 risk to reward ratio, which means for every 1 pip that we gain, we risk 1 pip. And then we are going to use 1 to 2, which means for every 1 pip we risk, we are looking to make 2 pips in return. So one of these should give us profits for sure. Now so when you click here the sale is going to give you a one-to-one -one. so where, where do we put our stop loss so for the stop loss here's what i'm going to do i'm going to add another indicator and this indicator is going to be the atr average true range now the average true range shows you what the average pips or the average size of the candles at that given time so i'm just going to use that same thing right so in this case you can see that at this po at this moment right here the average the atr for euro usd on a five minute time frame was around uh three pips right so this is three pips i'm not gonna use the five minute time frame of course but because it have a very small pips when getting into the market so i'm just gonna measure three pips from here so from here to here that this is 2.5 pips and this is three pips you can see right here so this is three pips so my first take profit is going to be 0 0.5 to 1 which looks like this i know this is not this is not what most people do but i just want to test how it works the next one is going to be looking like this right it's going to be a one to one risk to reward ratio which looks something like this this is the next trade and then the third one this is the risk to reward ratio that i'm going to be using is going to be looking like this so the stop loss is the same but the take profit comes uh with in three different positions and we are going to test this strategy like this and see how it performs in this case you can see that the market pushed to the downside these the all these three trades uh manage to hit the take profits so this is the strategy that we are using if we keep going right here we can see that the market will likely come back into this zone into the zone that we want and then we are going to time up if the market breaks to the upside right now in this case right here you can see again here the market broke to the downside so this was our perfect position again to sell right here this this was another po perfect position to sell now now that you understand the strategy i'm not gonna waste your time let's jump in 
to the big test and I'll do the big test and I'll show you the results in a minute. Okay, now after 100 trades, you can see I have recorded everything here from the day of the trade because I want to know when where, uh, when are the days that I get most of my winning trades. Number two, we have the session, which is the London session all the way down. We have the pair. This was Euro USD that I tested here. Then I have the type of trade because I want to know which of these trades are actually getting me into most winning trades and then i have the stop loss in pips so i didn't use dollars here to make the calculations easier i just calculated the amount of stop loss uh the am amount of pips uh that is in my atr so most of the time it was 6 10 11 9 13 so the average is like nine pips on each and every trade now we have the 0 0.5 risk to reward ratio if the trade was going to be a winner we are now calculating we are going to type yes here and when you type yes here the amount of gain is calculated on the pips so so the risk the our take profit is determined with our stop loss so if the way if the if, <coughs> if the stop loss is six pips then that means the gain if we win on the 0 0.5 is three pips right and then if the stop loss is six on the one to one it's it's six pips again take profit because the stop loss is six if the stop loss is six pips or only on only one to two risk to reward ratio the stop the take profit is 12 pips which means two times the risk right so we did that we tested all this right it took me a lot of time actually for me to test all this it took me more than four hours right so if you appreciate that work that i did make sure you just leave a like in the comments and tell me the strategy that you want me to test in the comments below after 100 trades right using our 0 0.5 risk to reward ratio we, we managed to get 71 winning trades and 30 losing trades and our our risk to reward ratio was 70.30 percent which means we're winning more than uh, more times so 70 or 70 percent of the time we were winning our average gain so our total gain all in all is 370 pips right and our total loss is 309 pips and uh, all in all the average gain is 61 pips in profits now the amount of money that you would make with this strategy depends on how much you were risking per pip now, if you say on each and every pip I was risking $10, which means I was using standard load, I could have made $610 after 100 trades. All right. And these 100 trades took me like less than, it took me around three months to get them. So 610 trades in three months, that's not bad, but it's, 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 it's something that that you can work with now let's move on to one to one risk to reward ratio so whenever we're risking six pips to make six pips or 20 pips to make 20 pips after 100 trades we managed to get 63 winning trades 38 losing trades and then our win rate was 62.38 percent which is not bad which is actually good we managed to get 662 pips in gain and then we lost six three hundred and eighty seven pips and then our total gain in pips all in all is two hundred and seventy five pips 
which is not bad, which is actually good. This, this strategy is surprisingly good. I never thought it would be that good. Then the average win was 10 pips. Right, so this is the average win on all the trades was 10 pips. Now, let's go to 1 to 3, 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio. Actually, you can see here the win rate dropped, but we made more money. So first of all, we made 43 winning trades and 58 losing trades, which means our win rate was 42.57%. We gained 918 pips. And we lost 590 pips and all in all in total we made 328 pips on average our win rate our win was 21.34 now with these three with these three results that you can see right here there's some things that happens here that you need to understand first of all is when we were using 0.5 to one risk to reward ratio when we were taking small profits and accepting bigger losses we got a lot of winning trades so in the case of you feeling good with your winners or in the case of your emotions you'd see that this strategy was going to give you a lot of winning trades if you were using smaller risk to reward ratio in this case you can see here we made like six seven winning trades in a row and then we lost one we win loss and then again here we made five losses in a row here which was the biggest losses in a row was five but then at, the, at some point here you could have seen that we managed to get like 12 win rate 12 winning trades in a row using this and also for one to one we got the same win rates and on the other side one to two goes out uh, got us bigger profits at the, uh, on average after 100 trades 328 pips if we were making 10 pips per trade that's three thousand two hundred and eighty dollars after about three months and also you can end this this commissions you have to understand that but the profits is big but on the actual trading you can see that most of the time we're getting losing trades look at this about six losses in a row here four losses in a row uh here another five losses in a row four losses in a row so most of the time you were losing but when you win you cover the losses row so after 100 trades this is the results for this strategy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enter this strategy in our new trading tracker that I created. And after, like, if we get like 50, if we test like 50 trades strategies, we are going to get a big list of all the strategies and how they work. So I'll start off with this one. So make sure if you want to learn more about this, check out the link in the description. I have a free course where you can learn how to start and scale up your capital using strategies like this thank you for watching if you like this video i can create more testing videos like this but firstly i want to know if you really if you guys really like it if you do make sure you smack the like button and i will see you in the next one